This is the Mamiya RB67 Pro SD camera from the 1970s. And I'm going to show you more about it right now. This is my huge Canon camera with my biggest lens. Fully professional camera, the Canon 5D Mark III. So it's like a massive camera. Uh, and this lens especially is very big. But compare this to my analog camera. This is my Mamiya RB67 medium format camera. And it has a very special lens on it. You can see that the lens is shifted vertically. And I'll explain more about that shortly. This Mamiya camera weighs a lot, especially with this lens and the tripod, the whole thing weighs about five or six kilograms. Here the camera is compared to my forearm to give you an idea of the overall size. This is a camera that was uh, popular in the 70s uh, and, and the 80s and um, used by professional photographers. Um, but it is a modular system. Uh, so the lens and the film cassette and the camera body are separate parts and you you get different variations of um, the viewfinder or the film cassette holder um, that you can swap out and it shoots a six by seven film which is really big that's the six by seven and this is the 35 millimeter you can see the big size difference and what that does is it allows the camera to resolve much more detail um, you have huge film negatives that you can scan and get more detail from uh, here is another example you can see the the outside rectangle is the 6x7 and that's what makes this camera special now I'm going to show you what is so special about this lens. So there's this, there's this knob on the side here. If you turn this, it um, shifts the lens downwards. So I'm going to um, open the viewfinder and let you look through it. Okay, so we're looking through the viewfinder now, and now I'm going to start shifting. Here we go. So you'll see that this shifts the picture down, and where this is useful is when photographing architecture, because when one photographs architecture, it's important to keep the vertical lines vertical. But usually, one wants to um, get the whole building in. And so, if you want to see the roof, you have to tilt the lens upwards in order to see the roof. And you see what happens when you tilt the lens upwards, is that these vertical lines are no longer vertical. They converge to, an, to a vanishing point. So, to get a nice photo, you need to tilt the camera down so that it is level. Now you're chopping the roof of the building off. That's where this lens, lens comes in. It's a very practical solution because we keep the camera level. All the vertical lines stay vertical, but you can shift the lens up so that you can get the roof in. It almost has the effect of taking the picture from a ladder. So I will show you how much it shifts. The other interesting thing about this lens is that you can rotate it. There's a little button right here. If you depress that, you can... So now, when you make it horizontal, you can shift the, the lens 
left and right and by doing this you can make a very long panoramic image an image at the left and shift the lens all the way over to the right and take another image and then you can stitch the two together the other nice thing about this lens is that it's fully mechanical this camera does not take any batteries it relies on uh, springs and cogs and gears almost like a clockwork to adjust the shutter speed so to take a photo you have to decide whether you want to take a landscape or portrait this is the film cassette then you have to advance the film then you have to cock the, the camera shutter uh, you have to focus the shot there is a bellows here you can see the bellows extension decide on your aperture set the time of course to do in order to do this you need to take a light meter reading <laughs> then you need to cock the lens shutter and then that little button there is the shutter release so when you push that you'll take a photo uh, oh of course there's one step i forgot which is that you need to extract the dark slide this is a piece of metal that protects the film from accidental exposure so you need to remove that before you take a photo the reason that this is here is that uh, when it's engaged you can remove the film cassette and you can see the dark slide metal here that's now protecting the film in in this cassette and i can then swap this one out for a different one maybe i have black and white form in one cassette and color in another or whatever the case may be